What is up guys? It is Jacob here and today I have a little tutorial for you on how to make a divine RPG server. Um, I was looking around on YouTube for some some way to do this and I couldn't figure it out so I asked my friend. He told me how. So I figured I would make a tutorial for anyone that wants to play with their friends in divine RPG. So this is this tutorial is basically assuming that you already have divine RPG successfully installed on single player and if not then I will probably leave a link to a video in the description on how to do that uh, probably won't be mine because I'm making this video but it's not very hard so don't don't worry about it if you don't so assuming that you already have divine RPG installed and it works I have this uh, I have this file for you to download from Mediafire that I made that is basically the entire server all in one folder and it's pretty it's pretty convenient it has uh, all the stuff you need you basically just have to run it as soon as you download it but the first thing you have to do is you have to get log me in Hamachi which is a thing that basically allows your friends to connect to your computer and play with you so first thing you want to do is you want to go to this link in the description and uh, you want to go ahead and hit download now unmanaged you gotta hit conditions of use and then hit download now. Save file. And then basically you gotta run this and follow through with all the steps. And then once you have that successfully installed, I'm not gonna install it because I already have it installed. But once you have that installed, you want to uh you wanna go to where you ever you have it installed. So you wanna go into Hamachi and you wanna go to network and you wanna hit create a new network and this is basically you make a network ID and your friends are going to have to also download Hamachi in order to join so you want to make it something that you'll remember you probably want to write it down somewhere so have a sticky note handy and a pencil and just make it really whatever you want I'll just call it tut Oriole <laughs> and password can be password and password create oh it's been taken whatever once you create that you will have a network over here and it'll be like one of these networks right here and then as you can see oh cancel that and you can see you have people that can join and basically how they join is when they're in here first you're gonna have to hit the uh, power button so you can power it on power it off and once you have that on you basically want to go to network and you want to hit join an existing network. These are what your friends are going to do. These are what your friends are going to do in order to join your network. So hit join an existing network. If it will ever let me click it. Join. And then you just type in the network ID and password and you hit join. And that's pretty much all you really have to do for that. Hit cancel and then it'll show your it'll show your IP address up here, but I'll probably have that blocked off so you guys can't tell my IP. Mwah. Ha. And that is how you join Hamachi, and that's basically how your friends will join your thing. So the next thing you want to do is you want to go to the next link, which is this Mediafire link, to the folder that has all the server information. And mind you, this is a 38 megabyte file, so be wary that it might take a while to download. But my computer's pretty fast, so it shouldn't take that long. But just be, be careful, because, I mean, just be prepared for it to take a while. All right, looks like it finished downloading. All right, so now what you want to do is you want to X out of that. That'll come up. And drag that right onto your desktop, like so. Hit X, go into Divine RPG, and you want to drag this folder, which is the server folder. You want to drag it out of there onto your desktop as well. So now you can kind of ditch the raw folder, the WinRAR folder, which will also have a uh, link to WinRAR in the description. It's pretty useful, I like it a lot, but you can also use 7-zip and whatever other man or file manager you want to use. But the thing you want to do is you want to go into Divine RPG Server and you see you have your, all your folders you need. I already have Forge installed on here, which if you don't know what I'm talking about, then you probably have to install it on single player, but yeah, I have Forge installed on here. I have it, the this version of Divine RPG in here. And um, if this is this video I'm making it during Minecraft 1.4.7 but I will be updating the download so that you can still do this and it should still work but uh, just be a little bit patient 
if it if it hasn't uploaded yet because I'll I'll try to do it within a couple days of the upload or of the update. So you have all this and what you want to do to run the server is go down here to run and double click it. And you will have it running right here. This little thing will pop up. And all that'll come up you'll be like, whoa, that's a lot. But you'll see that it says done and it says done. So you can small screen this. And then basically you have it running. You have Divine RPG running and then when you want to go right into your Minecraft And if you have it successfully installed in single player, you should know that that thing will come up. And you will be logging in. Let's see, have it logging in. You want to go to multiplayer. And I already have mine installed there. Or not installed. I'll just hide the address. So then what you want to do once you have that installed is, or once you have the server running and everything, you want to go to, and this is your friends will, will also have to do this in order to play. Go to add server, you can you can really name whatever you want, it doesn't really matter. But then you'll have to type in the server address, which is basically the IP, and you find your IP by going into Homachi. Do I have it on right now? Where is Homachi? Am I blind? Yeah, it's right here. Go into Homachi and it will be up here. That is your IP address. Now this is my IP address and it's probably gonna be covered, so but it will be right around here, right above whatever your computer name is. So once you have that, you should probably write that down as well. You want to just type that in for here, uh, whatever, doesn't really matter. And then you hit done and you hit join. But this obviously isn't going to work because I didn't type in the actual IP address. Anywho, I'll just show you how it works because this is running on the, uh, this is running on the same server. So go ahead and hit join server and you should be logging in you can see it says Divine RPG is up to date and you should be able to spawn in all the mobs I'll show you I have a uh, not enough items installed here um, I'll go to as you can see you have all the cool spawn eggs here I'll just try to spawn something cool because a rotor wreck oh oh I don't have permission to do that whoops so you should probably go back into your if you want your friends to have all the abilities of an admin. You have to go into your server folder, wherever that is. I can just X out of this. Disconnect. Go into your server, and then you see ops right here, and you just type in whoever's name you want to be opt, and they will have all the permissions of an admin. And then you just gotta save it and put all your friends' names here too. And then, when you log in, you can do all that fancy stuff of spawning stuff, everything. You can do everything. Which I will show you. <laughs> and be careful because it might lag a little bit considering that it's such a big mod and I would not suggest doing this unless you have a pretty pretty uh stable and strong computer. It has a lot of RAM and a lot of memory. So now I should be able to do this considering I'm an admin. Oh, just kidding. I won't be able to. Anyway, that's what you do. And that is basically how you install the Divine RPG on a server. Uh, make sure you leave any comments down below and any feedback. If the download for some reason isn't working, make sure you tell me so I can update it as soon as possible. And uh, I hope you have fun on this mod. It's a great mod. I like it a lot. And stay tuned because uh, I will be having a Divine RPG server series on my channel. So thank you for watching and goodbye. Oh, survived.